Yo, what's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and welcome back to episode number 43 of my Madden Ultimate Team series here on YouTube. And in today's video, we are starting off throwing horrible, terrible interceptions, but this is a head-to-head -head online gameplay. And uh, like always, sit back, relax, and cruise through it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, so in the last mu episode, we talked about some improvements, things that I'd like to see in the next Madden Ultimate Team. And the main topic of that video was which legends would you like to see? And if you missed that episode, make sure you check out the playlist down below in the description. That'll show you every episode in the series, plus that one I was just talking about. And uh, I got a lot of responses from you guys. It was pretty cool to see all the comments, all the legendary players that you'd like to see in next year's game that have not been in there. And there were a lot of them um, that were mentioned that I didn't even think about. So uh, thanks to all you guys who left the comments in the last video. I really appreciate it, and I love to uh, hear from you guys all the time. So keep it up. So I thought I'd make another type of video like that and just continue to talk about things that I'd like to see in Madden Ultimate Team. And uh, recently, now if you only check out my channel for football stuff, you'll probably not know what I'm talking about. But recently I started a Diamond Dynasty series. And if you don't know what that is, basically it's like the Ultimate Team version of uh, baseball for MLB 13 the show. And I, I started that series... Uh, Actually, the last video over the weekend that I put out was, was the first episode of that series. Um, and it's something I'm starting to get into. I'm pretty much a noob. I'm not sure too much of what's going on um, because it's entirely different. Um, you know, same idea as Ultimate Team, but it, there's a lot of differences. But there's one thing that the game does that I really like. And uh, it's something I kind of wanted to bring to your attention and, and get your opinion on it. Let me know what you think about it. Now, I got a feeling that a lot of you will disagree with me on this. But hear me out here. So, in Diamond Dynasty, there are no contract cards. You get a player, and typically the player has uh, 10 contracts, so 10 games they can play. And uh, my thoughts, the 10 games won't take into place, but hear me out here. Um, your player, once they expire, once that card goes away, once you've used up all their contracts, they're gone. You don't have that card anymore. There's no way to renew it, no way to add games onto it. And I think that if they did that in Ultimate Team, and Madden Ultimate Team... It would make the game last a lot longer. It would make the game a lot more interesting. It would, uh, you know, it would stop you from basically knowing what team you're going to see. I mean, how many of you guys hate going into a head-to-head -head game and playing the, basically the same team over and over? A guy that has three Shannon Sharps, two Jerry Rices, uh, two-star Steve Young, Ronnie Lott and Rod Woodson at safeties, Deion Sanders and Sandcastles at corners. I mean, how many guys are tired of seeing these type of teams every single time? I certainly am. I've voiced my opinion on this many times throughout this series. So, again, in my opinion, this would make Mutt a whole lot better. If you get a card, and I would say all cards should start off with, you know, regular gold cards legendary cards start off with maybe 15 contracts now i know what you're saying the bigger cards that you worked extremely hard for the you know the the numbered cards that are very limited i would say that let's start those cards off with 50 to 75 to 100 contracts i mean be honest guys how many of you guys have played 200 or 300 games in this year's mutt I've only play, I've played less than 150 head-to-head -head games. I've probably played 50 games against the computer, maybe a little more. But say, just for example, the three-star Patrick Willis that you earn from the middle linebacker collection. Let's start that card off with 75 contracts. That way, you know you worked hard for the card. You want it. You don't ever want to lose it. But realistically, 75 games is enough. You're not really going to play with that many you know that card or play that many games with that card especially the time frame that the you know the card comes out for position collection so in my opinion that's really a great thing and i would love to see it i know it's not going to happen and uh you know i know a lot of you guys rely on good cards to be good in this game it's kind of sad and i'm not really calling anybody out individually but as somebody who plays a lot of head-to-head -head, uh with regular teams and a lot of head-to-head -head with ultimate team there's definitely a um definitely a difference in talent 
when I play head-to-head -head games, I definitely get a lot more competition. And again, a lot of things, I think a lot of things that happen are, are kind of bullshit because of the cards that my opponents have. Um, and, you know, myself, I've stressed many times that I don't really want to have Legends on my team, and I don't right now. I do have a lot of overpowered cards. I'll be, you know, 100% honest with myself there. But I have to do it to keep up. So I really think that, again, just reiterating my point, if we had cards that expired and there's no way to renew them, you know, give them a logical amount of games to start with. I think that would keep Mutt fresh for a lot longer than it normally is. So... Again, let me know in the comment section how you feel about that or any other Mutt suggestions that you have. Um, one other thing that's really awesome that I noticed in Diamond Dynasty is when you go to sell a card, it lists out like the top five or six um, selling of the same card. If you're selling card A, you go to sell it, it shows you card A and, and the, the five cheapest amounts that that card is going for. So you can kind of judge and figure out how much you want to sell your card for instead of searching it for the auction house, writing down what you can sell it for, and then going back. It's just, it's a lot more fluid. So if you missed that Diamond Dynasty episode, if you want to check that series out, uh, make sure you do. It was the last video that I uploaded. So this game's obviously wrapping up. Another guy who chose to dive on me while he was losing, so I had to call him out. You guys know that's my pet peeve. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Click that thumbs up, and we'll be back with another Mutt episode in a week or two. It's Popular Stranger. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'm out. Peace.